All right, so this program is uh, what I would like to have seen in sort of a lesson one about uh, Python. Um, this is going to be how to handle integers and strings as uh, input and part of your program, uh, as well as some other little fun things as we get towards the end here. But these first four lines are a great place to start when making a program. So the first thing we're doing is taking raw input and uh, saving that as an integer. Now typically uh, raw input does come in as a string and I could save it directly as a string but right here I'm showing off what we can do with this little uh, integer function here. What this does is this turns any string into an integer for uh, adding purposes and whatever else you want to do with it as an integer. So this second line here is returning that uh, integer as a string, just putting it back into another variable that we're going to use later on. The third line here shows you how to combine a string and an integer into uh, the same line of a print statement here. So you see the two uh, percent signs here. The first percent s is uh, making a place in the string to put the variable and the s after it just is going to turn it from an integer into a string. This uh, second percent sign shows where we're going to start our replacements and then we're just going to replace it with our test number. So line four is where we're just combining two strings together to make a single print statement. You see the little uh, addition there. So in these blocks of in this block of code here, we're making conversions into some not so standard formats, other number formats, uh, using a couple of different methods. One is to use functions that are uh, a part of Python to make uh, uh, expressions that it understands, and the other one is just turning it into a number that we can output. So anytime you see this percent %r, that's going to be a raw output, which means all the strings, all the characters that are there, uh, it's just going to put it all there. You see, uh, when we started the program, there's this uh, raw input as opposed to just the input. Um, it's, uh, there's lots of uh, uh, symbols that you use, like the uh, apostrophe and quotation marks to help create uh, limits for expression and uh, this shows all of that um, in an output uh, as part of the uh, print statement here with uh, the replacements. So when we get down to the two uh, hex types here uh, we've got a lowercase x and an uppercase x and that's just a regular uh, a hexadecimal number, no leading expressions from Python. It's just how it looks as a hexadecimal number with lowercase x being lowercase uh, a through f and uppercase being uppercase a through f. And we've got a couple of octal stuff here. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, it is. So I'm just going to move on. So the final block here deals with uh, Unicode and ASCII. Now uh, the way computers understand uh, letters is by interpreting the numbers behind them. So this is sort of a, a trick to convert that number into uh, what the uh, computer thinks uh, that character should be 
and uh, in the case of single digits here with this if statement uh, it'll return the ASCII value of what it thinks uh, that number is. So uh, with that being said uh, you can rewind to look at the other two inputs I've done here and I'm just gonna run a couple more. So as you can see, the uh, ASCII and Unicode don't uh, always return stuff that's uh, nice and visible, but it, it's fun to play around with at least.